to say good morning, but I bit my tongue. <laughs> good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. It, it, it's great to be with you again. And I, as I was uh, thinking about this afternoon, I thought about the various apartments uh, where what became Wellspring had its birthing, if you will. And certainly Little River people played a big role in that, and I'll leave that part to, to Vern. But the, the dream of having another United Church of Christ congregation of this direction um, was given form and shape in some of those apartment meetings. And uh, those were fun times. And I'm sure that uh, memories of the good folk that gathered, particularly Marilyn, uh, who's no longer with us, uh, echo uh, even here. And then, uh, then, of course, who could forget the bingo hall <laughs> at the firehouse, which I think I actually can see the building if I, if I look straight across down that way. Oh, the kids are verifying for me. Is that the firehouse? Yeah. Right? Kind of looks like it. Kind of looks like it, right? And, and of course, during the service, there would occasionally be free foot massages right? <laughs> as the doors opened and the fire trucks went out. Uh, now, what other church has memories like that? Um, and it was a particularly good sermon. We had sirens. <laughs> it was a real blast. Right? Now, obviously, uh, this church, being 15 years old, is not the oldest church in the Central Atlantic Conference. And I'm happy to say it's not the newest either. The oldest church was started allegedly in 1660. And you can never guess what its name is. First. First. First congregation. No. That's too obvious. Old. Old First Church. Old first church. <laughs> You're very close. Wait, 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 don't tell me we'll give you points. We're, we're getting close. And one of the newest, uh, Rob Peters and I are going to visit soon, I think, or well, we're going to go nearby anyhow, is Grace United Church of Christ in Flemington, New Jersey. Hmm? Now, that's a very interesting church because it started in a Montessori school. It doesn't have full-time pastoral leadership. You're not alone. Uh, it's shared pastoral leadership with a, a, a man and a woman. They are not related to each other. They have other partners. Uh, but they worship in the women's center in Flemington. They do their Bible study in their meetings in a coffee shop. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lindbergh trials were in the courthouse across the parking lot. <laughs> hmm? That sort of gives you a dating. This is an old town <clears throat> with a new UCC church. There's one problem, though, with worship in the women's center. There's no men's room. Oh, come on. Oh, geez. So that's, some could argue that turnabout is fair play. <laughs> but you know, through all the ups and downs of starting Wellspring, of various dreams. And you know, some people had cookie cutter ideas as to what Wellspring should look like, right? Mm -hmm. And you've stretched, you've expanded, you've come back and you've come forth and built your own sense of mission for what Wellspring is and should, what shall continue to be. And had a particular kind of strength as you've done that. And it's been delightful to, to share Jerry and the stories over the years. and to get emails from Alice reminding us of all the good stuff you're doing now. And we celebrate that. And it's delightful you're building your own kind of church, even if it happens to be in an Episcopal graveyard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not so bad. And, and as I thought about that, I was thinking about the names that Congregationalists called themselves as, or were called as they left the Anglican Church in England. Hmm. And think about it in the context of yourselves. They were called either the separatists, mm -hmm. the independents, there's no characters in you all being independent, right? <laughs> or better yet, the nonconformists. <laughs> and then later they, of course, became the pilgrims. So bless you on your journey, this pilgrimage, this wellspring. Thank you very much. Yeah. I too am delighted to 
to be here and bring readings from Little River United Church of Christ, which was once, uh, I think, lovingly referred to by one of your pastors, one of your predecessors, as the mothership. Mothership. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I'm not mistaken, Wellspring is what used to be known as Neighborhood 8. Was it, was it eight? Oh. I don't remember. I number, right? Well, if nobody else remembers, I'm going to tell you that it was Neighborhood 8 <laughs> at, at Little River, which happened to be the folks that were living in the Centerville area. Uh, and uh, these folks didn't have any trouble getting to Little River on a Sunday morning. And uh, maybe going home took uh, you know half again as long, but that wasn't too bad. What was the problem was evening meetings. Hmm. And uh, at meetings at other times when traffic on 66 was uh, only a tiny bit better, perhaps, than, than it is today. And, and there were enough folks out in the Little River, Laurel Patton being one of them, uh, that uh, they said, gee, you know, shouldn't there be, couldn't there be a UCC church in the Centerville area? <coughs> And Susan Gilpin, who was my colleague uh, at the time, uh, being the kind of person uh, she was and is, and I incidentally I bring greetings from Susan, who's now retired, uh, she said, well, let's try to figure out how we can do this. And so Susan was our staff person relating to uh, Laurel and the other folks out here in Centerville <coughs> to see if they could get the job done. And, uh, I went through my Wellspring file, I could still find it, but just barely. Uh, and I, I found a covenant which is dated November 14th, 1993, and it bears Laurel's signature, Marilyn Branscom, Branscom Brenda Garcia, uh, Scott and Mickey Powell, Debbie and Chuck Schmidt, and I believe other names were subsequently added, people like uh, Esther Murphy. And, and several of those people were a part of a prayer group at Little River. And uh, I know Susan is convinced that one of the reasons that, uh, that, that you all had such a compelling vision here at Wellspring of, of who God was calling you to be was because you, you were grounded uh, in, uh, in prayer and spirituality, in part because of uh, those of you who were members of Little River's prayer group. Well, you've, uh, you know, you've long since uh, gone out on your own, and, and we, we rejoice in uh, what you have become. Um, if, if I can say it, we're, we're proud to be uh, at least one of your parents, um, and we're happy to claim you any chance uh, we get. But um, your, your ministry among uh, immigrants in this community is, is noteworthy, it's <coughs> pace setting, and uh, and we hope to learn from that and, uh, and, and the many other uh, ministries and gifts that you share with one another um, are a gift to us all. So uh, Godspeed uh, to Wellspring um, and to your ministries and uh, uh, I look forward to future celebrations like.